initially, when it was starting, we were just seeing uh, it one, uh, you can see a sack of an acid. Then it takes time again, you again see another one. So we did not know what plant it was. One I nice into that when, when it stands, it can reach here and very flower. And the flower is very beautiful. So it was attracting. People just playing with it. When you meet it there, you just play with it. You think it was something good. But uh, after a year only, it catch all the day and it became a menace. <laughs> small plant we produce 300 liters in a day and we steadily supply around 560 households per day but now there is another distributor who wants to pick we have signed the contract to pick 500 liters every week so the market is big but what we are producing we cannot just open a big niche because we'll spend a lot in cost of distribution and all that It produces strong heat which helps you prepare what you want, maybe tea or any other food, quick. It saves time. Uh, Health-wise, it is also good compared to other sources of energy. Harvesting of water has it because we still use the manual technique to, to harvest the water hyacinth. Besides that, water hyacinth is a seasonal plant. It moves by the waves and all that. This sometimes it is here, the other time you find it very far away, like that. But that one now we've taken care of because we have identified alternative raw materials that we can use for the large scale sustainability of the production. Again, also the distance between our workshop to, to to, to the source of raw materials is a little bit long. We have plants that maybe for upscaling purposes it will force us to set you uh, near the lake somewhere. In Nyakach, the whole of Nyakach, we have uh, um, about six beaches and right now it's only two or three uh, beaches operating. The rest are blocked. If you go down there, we have three or four beaches and they are not active. Those people are rendered jobless now. They are not doing anything economical today.